Hey there, I saw that there were no tutorials out there and I struggled with this a lot and a lot of people are too, so I just thought that I should make a tutorial for it. Sorry if I stumble over my words, this video is completely unscripted. So what you're going to need is this blender file, I'll link it in the description, um, an extracted version of web fishing, which you can use with GDRE and uh, putting the exe in there and a uh, Godot 3.5.2, I think. You also need lore. Um, and also just basic modeling knowledge. So um, what I do, uh, you're gonna want the origin to be right here. So what I do whenever I make a new one is I set the location to be just directly at the center. Um, and then I start editing inside this uh, editor here so that I can keep the origin there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, model an accessory and we'll be right back. So with my model done, I'm going to parent with automatic weights. I'll go into weight painting and make sure that all the weight painting looks good. Get, get out! So I want it to only connect with the uh, back for mine. So I'm going to delete uh, or like clear anything that's connected to another bone. Um, I don't know if you have to do this, I just do it just in case, but I go in, whenever I'm done testing out, I go into pose mode and then I click clear user transforms. Now that we're done, uh, you want to click on your thing and apply all transforms. This is actually the thing I didn't know they had to do that caused my entire thing to be broken for like a week and I had to have someone explain to me, so please make sure you do this. Um, and then select your mesh and your armature so that your uh, GLB will export with your um, uh, weight paints, include selected objects. I have that on, but you might not have that on, so make sure that's on. Um, sorry, my parents came home. So go to your models folder and then, oh geez. Shut! Shut! Bruh. So go to, so go import your GLB, open it as new inherited, uh, open your mesh, go here, right click on make, un and then click make unique, then click on save, and then save it as your accessory name. So I'll do just spider legs. Um, then you want to go, you want to make your resource now. All of them have like special, uh, little prefixes I think you have special little prefixes that I think you have to set um so for example you have if you do under i underscore it'll put it in the eyes category it wasn't the prefix it wasn't the prefix okay no this the prefix doesn't matter you can name it poop face for all I care apparently apparently there's a category thing here I didn't know I thought you had to set the pre I'm sorry um I'm going to go in here and make it accessory spider legs. So now that I've got this, I'll set the mod. Um, I'm going to move this. So since there's uh, a material here, we want to change that here. I don't know if not setting these causes issues. I'm not sure. But um. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go to the vanilla game and look for the black material. I don't recommend doing this because last time I did this and then the game updated, they changed the way they organized all of their materials, and I couldn't like find it, and so it was stressful to fix. Um, you can set the icon to whatever. I'm not gonna set it right now because I don't have one. So uh, go to your main .gd and uh, make a new uh, add content thing. I am actually going to scream. I'm going to name it, oh my god. I'm going, <laughs> spider legs. And then, um, oh, I, I misspelled accessory. 
Okay, so now that I've set the name and the resource it needs, I'm gonna go ahead and try testing in game. Why did it put it there? Okay, well, anyways. A. See? It works. There's a bit of weird issues going on with the shading there. I can I can easily fix that with uh, making a new material. But, uh, yeah. Um, there you go. That's how you make a, a working accessory. Um, if, I mean, uh, like, while you're testing in game, you can, I don't have any issues with this model, but you could see, like, oh, if you're making clothing, be like, oh, like, this shirt, you know, it's clipping really badly, I can go back and fix it. Just follow the same steps to re-import it and make it unique, stuff like that. I don't know, I'm, I'm just yapping at this point, but I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, and I hope this helps a lot of people, because I was struggling. 